Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another pregnancy video. Now if you're wondering why I've uploaded two videos in a row wearing the exact same outfit it's because I'm pre-filming them in one day. I'm making use of the time that Brody's at preschool this afternoon to just film two videos just to get them up because I really really want to try and get back into my channel. Um, but it's simply just trying to find the time. It's so hard. I'm working four days a week and... I'm constantly looking after Brody. I have no time. So this these three hours in the afternoon, I'm really trying to put the work in in this channel. So I just thought I would give you all an update on my pregnancy. This is going to be my, be my 14 week and 15 week update. Um, my next one will probably be a 15 and 17 week update. And then from there, 18, I may do an 18 week update because I've got a consultant appointment then. I have that thing again where I'm getting out of breath. I think it's just a pregnancy thing. You know, like when you're talking and you're just like, oh, I can't breathe. Whew. I thought I didn't get like this until further along the first time, but I just feel like it's just hit me all of a sudden. So the major update this week is I got my results from my 12 week scan and the blood tests. So they came in around, I think when I was week, yeah, I must have been in week 14 because I had my scan at, 30, at week 13. So I received a call from the hospital um, tell, telling me to give them a call back. Um, so I did. So I called them back and they told me that my PAP A levels are really low. So the threshold is 40 and over. I read online it technically should be 50. Um, but my levels are coming in at 31. So not too far under, but it's still quite a bit under um i didn't even hear of this before i've never heard of it i didn't know what she was telling me on the phone but she kind of explained it and said it's to do with the placenta so it's the hormone that the placenta makes and they measure the levels of that in your blood test that you have at your 12 week scan and it just gives them an indicator of how healthy your placenta is and how much your baby's going to grow is it healthy etc etc because they're low I do have to have an extra scan when I'm 23 weeks so I am going to be given my normal 20 week scan still and I'm also going to have a scan at 23 weeks which um, I've received my letter through since then and on the letter it says it's a Doppler scan but it's internal so I've got to have an internal scan at 23 weeks Whew. I just had to stop midway because someone was knocking on my door and it's the Avon lady collecting the catalogue so anyway at the scan at 23 weeks, um, they can determine and check how the blood flow is between the placenta and the baby and this will tell them how well the baby is going to grow. So the complications with being low PAP A, you can have a really tiny baby, you can have premature labour um, and the most extreme cases are stillborn births. Um, obviously that is the worst worst case and the midwife who called me at the hospital actually said most babies actually grow fine, they're healthy, they're very healthy, but I'll just need that extra little bit of monitoring. Um, I'm also going to see a consultant, I'm seeing a consultant anyway because of the aspirin I'm on for my psoriasis, um, but I finally got my appointment for that, that is on the 12th of February, so I think I'll be 18 weeks by then, and it should have been 16 weeks, but there was a delay with giving me an appointment, and it's ended up being when I'm 18 weeks. So I won't have an update for that until mid-Feb. So um, so hopefully at that appointment um, the consultant can explain a little bit more about what's going on and yeah, what's going to happen. But through research and a lot of people did message me on Instagram when I put on my post about this and said that they had low pepe and they just had extra scans. So every two to three weeks they had an extra scan. A couple of my friends, well one of my friends actually had that and she gave birth at 28 weeks um i don't know if she had more complications but it's just quite scary really um i mean things will probably 90 percent be fine um but it's still that little worry at the back of your mind of what if i do go in labor early what is going to happen am i going to have a small baby um obviously because brody was eight pound four i was expecting another big baby because apparently they get bigger with each pregnancy um so yeah i was like it's gonna be fine i'm gonna have a massive baby again i'm probably gonna need another rpc on me to get them out um so cause that's what happened with brody but who knows so i'm trying not to think about it until we have that scan because there's no point worrying it's just it's not going to help the situation heartburn heartburn has started to creep back in 
already um i really really suffered with heartburn with brody and the myth was correct he come out with a full head of hair so maybe this baby's gonna have hair as well i don't know but i all i do know is i'm suffering with heartburn and i'm already on the gaviscon so it hasn't been too bad to be fair it's mainly um of an evening when i'm laying in bed um which is normal i think um i'm not getting it throughout the day yeah touch wood um it's just of an evening when i'm laying in bed we have our gender scan next week so we will find out what the gender is um i really really do not know do not know. i cannot i don't know with Brody, i was adamant it was a boy but this time i literally have no idea um but i'm gonna upload that in a separate video i may include it in my next update video just to let everyone know but you will find out on my instagram first so please make sure you follow me over there i'll leave my handle in the description box below my sickness has started to go away thank the lord like oh my god i'm just like i can't believe it's finally going I'm waking up in the morning, not feeling sick anymore. I can get up. I don't have to rush and have some toast or cereal. I can get up and for the first hour, I am fine. I am still getting a little bouts of sickness here and there. It's more like I left a egg. I left a frittata actually in the fridge and I kept forgetting to throw it away. And this morning I got it out and just, I didn't even open the, con the, the container. It was just the thought of the smell and I was just like, Bleh. Bleh. but I think that's normal. But I think it's just emphasised because I'm pregnant. Um, but yeah, I don't even smell it. It's more the fault of things. And if I do still smell certain foods, that does trigger me. But overall, I'm feeling good. I'm back to eating normal now. I can drink water because I went off water completely. Um, yeah, I'm back on juice, so I can drink water again. Um, I'm feeling fine. I'm getting back. In, I'm fully into the second trimester now. I'm feeling more settled and hopefully I can start enjoying this pregnancy a little bit more. Um, before I was just wishing and wishing that the sickness would go away. I have a lot of energy back. I am sleeping okay. I have got pregnancy insomnia but for the most part I am still okay sleeping. I'm still in bed by nine o'clock but I'm up early anyway so it kind of counteracts that so it kind of makes sense why I'm going to bed at nine o'clock when I'm up at five six in the morning. So that is everything that I have to update you on for the most part. Um, I'm quickly going to do a bump shot then I have to go because my memory card is running out. <laughs> this video i hope you liked it if you did please make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button below to be informed of new videos and i'll see you all in my next one